Dear friends, welcome back to the channel Alex Talks. So today I would like to start a new playlist on CDMP. A CDMP preparation, you know, CDMP is a Certified Data Management Professional. And this is a certification provided by DAMA International. If you recollect, we have done a couple of videos on data management. I have also mentioned about DAMA International, especially the DAMA wheel which comprising of the various knowledge areas of uh, data management and i think it is a time for us to have a certification and so i would like to share some insight about this exam with all of you if you would like to um, plan an examination of cdmp uh, feel free to start we can do it together so if you would like to know more about this cdmp so go to internet and you can search for CDMP and you will have a lot of information about CDMP exams, the types of exam, the, the cost of the exam, the schedule of the exams and the, and the curriculum of exam and scope of the exam. Everything will be available in the internet and I will show you that uh, in a short while. So welcome back. I am in the homepage of cdmb.info. So this is the site you want to know more about CDMB. This is a global data management community. Again, this is a DAMA International. So at the homepage, you will see why are we supposed to be certified. It says that all organizations need certainty that people who are managing this important strategic assets are qualified. So having a certification will um indicate that you are a qualified uh, person to manage the strategic assets so here you can see the numbers of various certification certifications associate practitioner master and fellow and you want to know more about the certification or about exams frequently asked questions or submit master experience or cdmb maintenance set up an exam event all possible from the home page so if you want to go to uh, more about the certification i know uh, this is about the cdmp certification levels and the requirements you know there are four levels one is associate practitioner master and fellow and you know to be a associate uh, this is the membership is central or central and you know you should have minimum of industry experience six months to five years and if you want to be a C practitioner, you want 2 years to 10 years. If you are a master, minimum 10 years of experience. And, you know, if you have industry experience of 25 years, you can become a CDMB fellow. So um, there are some requirements like you should have a 60% of pass, 70% of pass for one fundamental exam and two specialist exam. And for master, you should have 80% of the pass in data management fundamentals and 80% pass in two specialist exam. And this is a globally recognized aspect, thought leadership significant contribution to data management profession, CDMB master contribution to CDMP and uh, DMB OK by nomination. So these are the four certification levels and their requirements. Uh, but of course, we can start with associate i think that's what i am aiming to it says that exam information see all these exams are based on dama dmbok that's a v2 that's a second edition um these questions are coming from this book only but it says all cdmb exams test or knowledge of dm dama data management body of knowledge version 2 DMB OK 2. You can obtain a copy of DMB OK uh, maybe from Amazon or from uh, from the libraries. You can get that. So coming to uh, what is the percentage, you know, the data management fundamental exam. The data management fundamental exams covers 14 topics. So you should remember that, you know, as the DAMA will represent the 11 topics Addition, in addition to that, we have three more topics. So there are 11 knowledge areas plus 
data management process ethics and big data okay so totally there are 14 topics and uh, each topic has some weightage so data management process 2 percentage big data just 2 percentage data architecture just 6 percentage document and content management 6 percentage data ethics 2 percentage data governance 11 percentage data integrity and interoperability 6 percentage master and reference data management 10 percentage data modeling and design 11 percentage data quality 11 data security 6 data storage operation 6 data warehousing and business intelligence 10 percentage and metadata management 11 percentage so looking at the exam structure all exams of 100 multiple choice questions you will have 90 minutes to complete the exam once you start if english is not your main language you can purchase an esl version where you will get an additional 20 minutes to complete the exam and all exam purchases include a 40 question data management fundamental practice exam so this is all about the exam and uh, of course it is not a refundable so if you fail you will have to retake the exam paying the paying another um, stipulated amount if you want to know more about the about the exams and the cost of the exam again you can come to this page you know uh, you can you can purchase exam you know the exam fees is almost 311 dollar i think for all their exams uh, it's like 311 dollar so if you are going for fundamental this 311 and you have a standard exam and the esl version which is for non-native english speakers and you will get a practice exam uh, for just uh, some 40 dollars so if you if you have more than 70 percentage for the fundamentals you can go for uh, the practitioner by completing two more provided that you have to have 70 percentage minimum for all the exams okay so you can see there is special exam for data modeling and design metadata data quality data governance data warehousing and business intelligence reference and master data management and data integration and interoperability all exams carry same fees and um, again going back to home you can also check the frequently asked questions then coming to that frequently asked question you can see the basics the common issue and questions the study and learning and purchase and role in exam and access and take an exam using the online proctor exam and certificate and badges and retakes so we have if you have any question about this exam i think this is the right place to come and uh, check this and of course you can uh, submit the master experience then cdmb maintenance that means it is will expire in uh, three years time again you need to renew it uh, after that uh, after that period so that is a, a simple um, introduction about the CDMB exam. So to summarize, CDMB certification is a significant achievement. This credential can help accelerate our career and demonstrate our qualification to employers, clients, and their peers. CDMB certification levels and the requirements, as I said, there are four levels. We have associate practitioner master and fellow uh, we can limit our focus to either associate practitioner or master because fellow is beyond our scope of course uh, that is achievable uh, from the from the numbers we have seen there are only three uh, fellows and uh, we can start with the cdmb associate of course this minimum 60 percentage pass mark are required for having an associate if you would like to go to practitioner make sure you have a 70 percentage mark obtained for the fundamental exam uh, look at the knowledge areas 
there are 14 uh, topics uh, and uh, within that we have 11 knowledge areas from the Dharma International Wheel. Um, then we have uh, data management process, ethics and big data. I already mentioned about the distribution of the weightage. Um, yeah, just look at this uh, screen and you can see uh, how the weightage is distributed across it. So knowledge areas, you know, the data management fundamental exam cover 14 topics. So when you pass this exam with a score of 60 percentage plus, you are recognized as a CDMB associate. For a specialist exam, a deep dive into a specific chapter of DMB, okay. So note that the data governance exam seems to be broader than others in terms of requiring knowledge from multiple chapters. If you pass the fundamental exam and two specialist exam with a score of at least 70 percentage on each exam, you have between 2 to 10 years of industry experience, you are recognized as a CDMB practitioner. So if you pass the fundamental exam and two special exam with a score of at least 80 percentage on each exam, you have 10 plus years of industry experience, you are recognized as a CDMB master. So coming to the exam structure, all exams have 100 multiple choice questions. So you have 90 minutes to complete the exam once you start. So if English is not your main language, you can persist the ESL version where you will get an additional 20 minutes to complete the exam. All exams purchases include a 40 questions data management fundamental practice exam. So why certify? First of all, it is going to develop the profession. So they said data management is one of the youngest profession and uh, mature professions have standards, expected performance, review and continuous examination. So this uh, certification will really give you that maturity. And secondly, it can for your personal development. So many of us work in jobs that did not exist when we started even five years ago. So in order to remain relevant to the economy, professionals need to participate in ongoing professional development. So the certification will really give you. So that's all about CDMB exam. So thank you for watching. So if you would like to take this exam, all the best. Thank you.